and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Simon Zephyr. Simon Zephyr is ranked number four in his gold division, Akali November, with 2,333 points, 416 wins, and 401 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the northeast up against Simon's, Simon Zephyr. I don't know why I'm having trouble. With that, he is the blue Protoss in the southwest. He wants to know if I went to BlizzCon. I said, yep. He should have known that, though, because of my Murloc Marina. I guess that's how he guessed it. Uh, he wants to know about the expansion. Uh, it's going to be called Heart of the Swarm. I assume it includes a Zerk campaign, which is why they called it that. They they really didn't talk about it, at least not that I saw. So, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. You know, look at that, and while I'm trying to type, it it doesn't count towards the HVM, so boom! Shoots right back up as soon as I finish typing. At least I don't... Yeah, nothing about the, nothing about the expansion. Um, I haven't heard anything about it. I am looking forward to the expansion, though, but I don't assume that it will be coming out for at least another year, you, no matter what they tell you. Oh, it's going to be released tomorrow. No, it's not. No. It'll, it'll probably be about a year, and then they'll make you buy something extra. And yes, I I will be be getting the expansion. I I the unit I want to see the most is the lurker. I had so much fun with the lurker in in uh, Brood War. Uh, all the custom maps that it was on, all the um, I I don't well I I wasn't a competitive player when I played Brood War. So I have no idea how they played in terms of the game itself because, you know, I only played custom maps with them, so I couldn't tell you if they were overpowered, underpowered. I have no idea. I just love the whole idea of the Lurker. For those of you that are unfamiliar, they were basically, um, they could only attack when they were burrowed. And when they attacked when they were burrowed, they did massive amounts of damage. It was like a line damage. They shot like spikes out of the ground. And... That would, um, it, I mean, it was a lot of fun playing with that. It was, um, yeah, the custom maps were usually like tower defense games, but with lurkers, and I loved those. We are seeing a uh, gateway cybernetics core, very, very standard. Meanwhile, I did get the barracks up, despite the fact that once again my SCV dies. Marine is out, and he will scare off that probe who it looks like it was only two hits away from death. So I did go for the bunker because usually, you know, I say usually as if it means anything. Usually, the whenever I get harassed like that by either a Zerg player or a Protoss player, it does mean some early sort of harassment. So I am getting the bunker down. So just in case, if it doesn't work out, I can always scrap that and get my minerals back, but it does mean that I will be going a little bit slower in my build overall. Chrono Boost finally being used, but on the Nexus, so it was delayed for quite some time. It got built up all the way up to the 70s, if I remember right. It could have gone up to the 80s, and then it started going towards the Nexus, which it could have been the entire time. Now warping in its first stalker, never got the Zealot out doing the warp gate technology, but no, chrono boosting the Nexus again. I'm just confused with this chrono boost play this early on. Three Rex is fully on the way. And of course, that is going to increase my minerals and gas until I can get those tech labs up and I'll start producing out of them, including those upgrades. He did supply lock himself for a little bit there. Now continuing to pump out the stalkers, not even bothering with the zealots. So this bunker really is is there for nothing because those those stalkers. What are the, the range is five six six. So just as far as the marauders, so I can't outrange them. The robotics bay is on the way. That is a very early robotics bay. Looks like he went two gateway. Robotics Bay, Third Gateway, Twilight Council. Oh, looks like we're going to be seeing some Blink Stalkers here. But I don't know that yet. All I know is that he has got 
a uh, cybernetics core and a gateway which tells me almost nothing but here bam perfectly time scan i think so i'm going to be able to see the forge gateway and the twilight council and when he comes up here and i see that there's stalkers and only stalkers i know exactly what's going on i know that blink right there that blink right there will be researched eventually and it is only a matter of time before he tries to blink up into my main but what do i do to counter this right now nothing not a damn thing but i knew that was going to happen more stalkers on the way he did finish that warp gate technology got the three gate up researching weapons upgrade number one as well as no didn't chrono boost it but he is getting that observer out and it is going straight for my base and those stalkers are meeting up at the cell naga tower they're talking and chatting amongst themselves about how pretty this is and how that civilization used to be theirs it's an, kind of an odd place for a photon cannon. Fourth gateway is on the way. I'm still confused about that, actually. Alright, so we do have the stalkers right there. So if I had the supply depot there, I would know, hey, you know, that's where they are. But no, I'm building them in the back. Because I'm stupid like that. So I do s Oh, here's where I figured out what's going on. Okay. But no, I still... Uh, no, I need... Okay. Ugh, this is irritating. What I Blink is not researched yet. What I need to do is get these guys down here, and so I can form a concave and take out these these stalkers. There are not many of them. I could take them out. Proxy pylon is down, but it is far away, so reinforcements are delayed slightly. I need to get these guys down, and I need to get as much damage as I can. I should know that I have the larger army because I can see his freaking army. I am getting a supply depot here so I can keep an eye on those stalkers, but that observer will be able to cancel that. They take, they snipe down the SCV, and I scan inside my base going, where the frick is that observer? But no, it was gone. It was over there, and I was unable to kill it, so it survives with uh, 36 health so that was 300 minerals down the drain pretty much I cannot expand now because he is trapping me inside my base with blink stalkers that aren't even blinked yet now they are blinked and now he's just taking pod shots at my army trying to get as much damage done on this small little group as he can I do stim up so he gets a nice concave and is able to take out all those that and I get almost no damage done on these guys I don't think I took out any of them uh, it does look like I took out some but he's done so much more damage than oh and he's able to blink them away as necessary so really I, I mean I've lost the army here and that's because I did not go down and take out the stalkers when I had the chance so I realized that the only reason that he can get uh, the site up is because of the observer. The observer is well out of range of any missile turret that I can get up. Even if I did get it up here, I could not defend it. So I'm finally wisening up and moving down here so I can get some kind of um, surround. But there's just too many stalkers now. It is far too late to do this. I thought of this way too late. The reinforcing stalkers are more than enough to take out everything that I have here. The blink micro was great by him. I am getting the barracks back up. But the, I'm sorry, the bunker back up, but the barracks is going down. The, the reactor sinks in its defeat and then explodes. Links up into my base. There's absolutely nothing I can do now. I have lost this game and I am forced to GG. And that's the game. Finally got the, the factory up. I, I could have used siege tanks a lot earlier, as you can see. I could have afforded that. And that's the game, so great Blink Stalker Micro by Simon Zephyr wins the game for him. That's that's the beauty of Micro. He did it well, I did not. And that's what lost me in the game once again. Once I saw the 
Stalker's doing damage here. I knew that there was an Observer. I tried to take it out as best I could, but even if I did take that out, there's absolutely nothing stopping him from making another Observer. Did he make one? No, he didn't. So he wins the game with 12 Stalkers, and that pisses me off more than you can believe. Uh, I knew that I needed Siege Tanks, but I knew that it was going to be too late. What I should have done is, once I saw those Stalkers down there, saw that there weren't that many, I should have moved down and started doing some damage to them with my entire army instead of just a line that's formed right here on the platform so that was the game I do know that I've been inadvertently I, I swear I haven't been doing this on purpose I've been broadcasting wins I believe I cast it like eight in a row something like that so I am not doing that on purpose I do want to give you guys the good games and by good games I mean games in which I don't lose due to me basically stop paying attention at the 10 minute mark and that's what happened in a lot of my losses. But I don't broadcast all my wins. I don't want you guys thinking that. I do um, only select usually about five games out of every 15 or so these days. And that's what's kind of wasting time now. Uh, before, I used to broadcast about seven out of ten. But now, you know, I want to show you guys something different. This was definitely different. Great micro by the, the Stalkers. Not great micro by me. Once again, I've gone over couple different ways that I could have fixed that, you know, siege tanks, moving down the army, just, you know, positioning is important. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.